So now let's take a look at nesting templates. And uh, so create my variable TPL and TPL is of type template. It's a from package template, so it's a pointer to type template from package template. And then template must, and then you know that function takes in those arguments that are the returns of parse glob. So parse glob all my templates. And then TPL execute template, I'm executing this template and passing in 42. Well, if I look at my templates, I have here, I'm passing in the meaning of life, right? I'm getting that data, but also I have template polar bear that executes right here. And here I'm defining what's called, so I defined a template polar bear. Here's my polar bear template ended. So I could create templates that, you know, I could call on every other page. So that could be useful for like a universal footer or a universal header. And then I could just dynamically build my pages and I could say, hey, include my header here, include my footer there. And uh, you could also pass data into those. So if you needed to pass in, you know, like page description, meta, meta description, meta title, page title, right? Um, you know, things like that. You could pass that data into each of those. And to pass the data in, it goes right here, I think. <laughs> I think I have an example coming up. We'll take a look at it. So here is, uh, yeah, I'm passing in data. And the data that I'm passing in here is 42. So that doesn't change. The dot is always 42. I'm going to pass 42 into my polar bear template. And here's my polar bear template. And I'm accessing what got passed into it, 42. So you can see, OK, I'm just going to make sure that the data structures that I pass into my pages Maybe they'll all be a struct, like it'll be, you know, page data. And that struct will always have header data, which will be a struct, and footer data, which will be a struct, you know. So um, I could pass all that in. Or a map, right? It could be a map. So there's uh, that. And then here's another one, define data to template. And here are my templates. And so I have, uh, I don't know what these are, define BTF. So it's just a whole bunch of list items. And then I have my index. And I, I have here, do, 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 template SVGs. So I'm bringing in SVGs, template header. So I'm bringing in some header stuff and then template BTF. So just more of the same, right? starting to create templates and then I have a preview let's see what the preview is if there's anything good to look at oh so here's a preview of kind of like what your code will look like when it's all running let's run that and I am in zero one zero Therefore, and I'm running this and says, do you want to allow this to run and accept incoming network connection? Sure. Now, I, I told it to run on localhost 8080. Sweet, right? And so to get that to run, we have TPL, and it's type pointer to template from package template. We have func init, template must, template parse gob, templates pointer to go HTML, all file, or sorry, uh, give me all the files with the ending extension go HTML. And then I have func main, and I'm going to do handle func, and this says anything at root serve up index that function well here's my index function 
And handle func has to take in a function with a certain signature and it has to have that signature right there. And then I execute my template and I execute it to my response, web server response. And this is the template I executed and I'm not passing in any data. And then I also have this line of code here which basically says, hey, from this folder public, I want to serve everything that's in there. So as my pages ask for things, right, they ask for like CSS, I could serve that CSS from that folder. And so on my, my page, right, I'm saying, hey, inside public, give me the CSS file. And so that line of code right there just says everything inside public, when my pages ask for it, you could serve it. And then I do listen and serve, and I say what, you know, the port is, and, uh, and then this is just nil. We'll learn more about that, but that's it. Like, we're not far away from using Go to kind of serve web apps and to create our routing in a restful fashion. That's pretty cool, right? So that's uh, nesting templates.